I'm heading into the city, Wilmington today, to begin work on the largest job I've ever done. It'll be three systems, a complete change out ductwork, equipment, and everything. And we're gonna upgrade two of them to a MANA, 16 SEER two-stage communicating systems. And one of them, since it's a package unit, will be a 15 SEER variable speed package unit. So we get started today, and I'm all by my lonesome, so I got my work cut out for me. I will have help for some of the job, but it'll be, it'll be lonely for part of the job too. But today's the first day, we're gonna demo the upstairs system. And then tomorrow we're gonna get started putting back with uh, the new equipment and duct work. Here's our first little system, it's a ton and a half train. We're going back with a two ton, 16 Sierra Mana communicating heat pump. Built XC800. This is a tough guy, it's old. Take a look at that old contactor right there. You see it's from a different generation of contactors. So looking at the late 80s probably. I think it's 89 or 90. But we're taking this bad boy out. The refrigerant has been recovered. I'm about to cut it loose. Here's our old train modular air handler. You see it's put together with some brackets. Top and bottom, back, front. Uh, so it should be easy to take apart. We're going to disassemble it and carry it down. Here's a look at some of the old duct connections as you see. There's no tape, and it's just, it's not its not like it's wrong, it's just how it was done back then. Things nowadays are a lot more efficient and tighter, so they tape all the seams and even mastic them. I have our air handler disconnected for the most part, except for the return in the back. I have it angled down so the water drains out of the drain. There's a little bit of standing water in the pan, I'm trying to dry it out as much as possible. And in the meantime, I went up in the attic and got all the flex and duct work out, including our duct board triangular box which is a pretty common ductwork fitting. Uh, they have a main duct that comes into the box and then some branch ducts come as it trims down to the very end. But so we have ductboard, flex, and metal trunk in this system. And when I come back it's going to be all metal trunk with just flexible branch ducts. Well we are all done with our demolition. There's our little cord and fan. I rob power from the disconnect the power of the fan. The old air handler stand, I'm gonna leave it around just in case it has some sort of use. Let the old evaporator dry out. I guess I could carry it down, but we're just gonna let it sit up here for a night. Everything else is gone. We're gonna start putting duck work up there tomorrow morning. Here's our new AVPTC air handler. Here on day two with all of our materials. Making a hard trunk duck system. Some of our other stuff. And we're just getting to work. Here's a look inside of our air handler. We have our aluminum coil with TXV. We have our variable speed fan motor, as you can see. There's my drip. There's our control board and our transformer, so not a whole lot of components. And there's our little terminal strip, which we'll replace with the four wire strip that includes the number one and two. Um, for the communicating aspect of the air handler. Okay, we have our metal trunk up in the attic. There's the beginning of the 14, goes about 15 feet. All the runs come off of that trunk, all the branch runs are flex. Silver Thermo King R8, uh, Thermo Flex. Now I'm going to build a piece that comes across here and down into the air handler, squared around an elbow. So I'm working on measuring that out now and getting that into place. We have finished up our ductwork, run it straight up and straight across. It's all tied in and insulated and mastic sealed. And we have our return, one of them tied in. The old flex is inaccessible beyond that point, so we tied in as far back as we could with comfort. And there'll be one more return coming off the top, which will go out into the room because this is two tons and the previous system was ton and a half. So we need a little bit more as far as return filter grill space. And we'll do that tomorrow. We are on the next day here. And we are looking down where the line set comes up through the hole. But of course the old line set had 5 sixteenths copper. And since we're running mostly 3 eighths in the crawl space, we're replacing all that stuff. They have a little bit of existing stuff in the wall. So I'm actually using the secondary drain as a sleeve to run some new 3 eighths. So I like to have the liquid line the proper size. The suction line, uh, a little bit less critical, but I definitely want the liquid line to be the proper size. So, I have that stuff down in there. We're just going to lose our secondary drain. 
if we really want to, we can take it out to the soffit over there if we want to. We can make a provision to get it out there, but not nearly as critical as the liquid line. All right, we're setting our pad for our new Amana 16 sear heat pump. I do need a little bit of dirt though. Maybe I should get it from out there. All right, we have our Amana sitting in position. We used the bender to make a couple nice bends here. Make everything look good, I go ahead and braise this up. And then we can pressure check the system because we are good to go on the other end. Our line set was pretty long, we had to braise a couple joints in it across the crawl space, so it'll be, uh, it'll be worth checking, that's for sure. Our copper's all brazed up. I have my clamps on for the testo nitrogen test, which I just started, so I'm gonna leave it here for a while and uh, go do some other stuff and come back and check on it. Well, it's been 37 minutes and we have not lost any pressure, so we are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and put the system in a vacuum and hopefully we can get it wired up today and go ahead and get it started. There's our communicating wiring strip there. It has a one and two data signal and then a RNC for 24 volt hot and common. I went ahead and wired it up with the existing wires to make use of those and I'm gonna go ahead and connect them down there at the field terminal and we can get this thing going. Here she is up and running in all of her glory. We'll take a look at some of the other parts. We're adding some charge because the line set was rather long. Here's our communicating thermostat. Very nice. Honeywell descent, you could tell. There's our return we added. We don't have any grills on yet. But I'm probably gonna add some aluminum registers. Just because the free area is a little bit better. There's not that many runs on this system. There's our air handler. That's our flight switches right here and then the pan. I'm gonna add a free switch. It just hasn't come in yet. But this one's in the books. We'll be heading on to the four tons plus system next.